Wood turning is a craft where you're placing a piece of timber on a lathe, spinning it at high speed, and then presenting a stationary tool to the timber. This makes it rather unique in the art of woodcraft. In this video, I'll be talking about the parts of the lathe and also some timbers that are suitable for bowl turning. So now let's introduce you to the various parts that make up the lathe. Starting with the headstock. The headstock is the area of the lathe that contains the motor and the various ways that you can control the speed of the lathe. Often this can be through a variable speed or through various belts that can be driving through pulleys. Within the headstock, you also have the hand wheel which is used to grip the headstock when it's stationary. And all lathes also come with a four spur drive. Moving down to the tail stock of the lathe, we have the live centre, which has a bearing in it to allow it to spin when it's held safely against the timber. The live centre is sitting in the quill, which can be wound in and out to provide that secure connection. Both the tail stock and the banjo, are, with its tool rest, are sitting onto the bed of the lathe. All of these incorporate a handle that allows them to be moved and then secured into place. In setting up the lathe, it is important to have the lathe sitting at the correct height. And the correct height for a lathe is so that in your normal standing position, the centre of your elbow should line up with the spindle on the headstock. So a very important safety tip about using a lathe. The tool rest should be as close as possible to the timber to provide the best security of the timber. But it's also a good reason why you need to hand rotate the timber before you put the power on. Here's an example the timber has hit the tool rest, it's too close. It is very common for people to think that all wooden bowls are made from a round log, orientated in the same vertical direction in which the tree grows. The pith or centre of the tree is usually subject to more tension and pressure as the timber grows. This is why old trees will have a lot of cracks in the centre. Turning relieves this tension in the timber, thus increasing the risk of splitting and fracturing. So as there is a lot of risk of splitting in timber when you're turning, it is always advisable to wear a face shield. Cross grain bowls provide far more strength than end grain bowls. You'll have the grain running along the timber in this direction and the end grain there. It also provides greater diversity in the colour across the piece. Because cross grain bowls are positioned sideways on the lathe bed, you will encounter long and end grain twice in the revolution of the blank. And these constantly changing surfaces from long grain to end grain fibres requires strong, sharp tools to cut cleanly with every rotation of the lathe. The simplest way to approach bowl turning grain orientation is to take a medium round log and split it halfways down the length of the pith. After the log is split, there are two half circles that you can be used to make two bowls. The flat side of the split log is then the top of the rim of the bowl. It is best to start truing up the blank by removing the excess corners by rounding the bowl blank on a bandsaw. Bowls turned from wet timber or green timber will distort and become oval as the moisture content reduces. For this reason, green bowls are usually turned in two stages. Initially they are rough turned to leave a wall thickness of approximately 10% of the bowl diameter and once dry enough turned again to the final thickness. So what are some of the good turning timbers? Well any timber that has a tight grain is usually suitable for turning, though dense timbers such as black wattle and gidgee can blunt your tools quite quickly. Any fruit tree is good for turning. Camphor laurel is quite commonly used as it is easy to turn and has large colour variations. Some samples of timbers that I have used for turning are New Guinea rosewood, walnut, quila or marbu, red cedar, jacaranda, and silky oak. In the next video, we'll be talking about how to mount the timber on the lathe for bowl turning. Thank you for watching. And remember, 
wood turning is a craft where the finished product is what you leave behind.